Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Shake Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up instant replays using Streamlabs OBS. So you can hit a hotkey and show your replay very quickly. So let's go ahead and jump to the video right now. So that is right, using a hotkey on your keyboard or a stream deck, you can go ahead and display your replay very quickly. Now this is awesome using Streamlabs OBS and I just started using this myself. So let's go ahead and go to my other display and set this up. So the first thing that we wanna go ahead and do is create a new scene and select instant replay. So let's go to the plus icon right here and add a new scene and let's call this instant replay. Okay, now let's go to the sources section and go to the plus icon. Now on the bottom right hand side of this window, we have an option called instant replay. Let's select this and add source, add source. Now you have an option to go ahead and loop your replay if you wanna go ahead and turn that on. I'm actually gonna turn that on so it keeps displaying so I can watch it multiple times. And then I'm gonna to go to close file when inactive and press done. So I have my source set up for instant replay. And I have all the way at the bottom here. So let's go down to the settings section here and select this. Now we will want to go to the general tab and then scroll down to output and select this option right here. Check mark this. Automatically start replay buffer when streaming. Now having a replay buffer on will allow you to go back like 30 seconds to capture your replay. Now let's go down to output and then scroll down under this list and go to replay buffer. So the default is 20 seconds for your replay buffer. Uh, you can go ahead and extend it as much as you want. I just set mine to 30 seconds. Now let's go ahead and set up a hotkey for my replays. So select hotkeys. Then on the right hand side, let's go to save replay. I just set mine to the home key. You can choose any button on your keyboard that you want to go ahead and set up. So go to the plus icon and choose home. Now let's scroll down and go to our scenes under here. And let's go to our instant replay scene. So here's our instant replay scene. So you can set up a hotkey on your keyboard or your stream deck that will automatically switch to the instant replay scene by putting something in right here. I don't have anything in. Otherwise you can show your replay by pressing a certain button as well. So set up the hotkeys specifically for your instant replay scene. Now let's go to done. So when you're not streaming now, and you wanna go ahead and do instant replays, on the bottom right hand side of the screen, there is a little arrow that goes in a circle and it says start replay buffer. So if we wanna go ahead and capture replays when we're not streaming, we will have to press this button. It will show that it's like recording down here, and you have an option to save your replay, or press the hotkey under save replay. So mine was the home key. I can press the home key at any point in time and I'll be able to save that replay. So let's go ahead and save a replay now. I'm gonna turn on my PlayStation 4 and then go to my capture card. So I'm gonna log into my PlayStation 4 and capture about 30 seconds of gameplay here, just moving around on the screen. Now that I'm in the home menu here, let's go ahead and save this replay by hitting the button on the bottom right hand side of the screen right here or my home button. So let's go ahead and do that. My replay should have been saved now. Now let's go over to instant replay under my sources. And it should display now. So here is my replay. We do need to select instant replay, right click on it, and then go to transform and stretch to screen. Boom, it'll take up the entire screen now. So this is my replay that I just literally did. So let's go ahead and stop this now. I just have it continuously running so I can rewatch it multiple times. I just like that. So setting up instant replays is very, very easy. And it's really cool to go back and watch your gameplay clips when you're not streaming sometimes as well. If this video did indeed help you guys out, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help tips coming up next on Your Six Studios.